What now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. Well, not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. How you doing? Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. Hmm. <laughs> so, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. Ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's... Whoa! Reckon it's that one with the fire outside. Let's take a look. Someone got here first. So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house. And there's some blood here. That ain't good. Bed's not made. So, he must have been here recently. Big struggle. Pretty recently, Look. I'd say. I guess maybe uh, 12 hours ago. But no body? His food's barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. What are you doing? Let's go. They went down the path here. How's your tracking these days? All right, I guess. Hm. Well, lead the way then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean after the bar fight, I swear, he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. If all you knew, that's his special talent. They could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah. 
I still ain't sure about it. Hey, look. They continue on the other side of the tracks. Huh. They seem to head into the forest now. Howdy, partner. Hey, look. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. What are you doing? Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you seen a strange sort of fella? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? No. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? We both better get out of here. Come in. Who do you think you are? Well, oh, you cracked his head. You stay there. Uh, where uh, is Trelawney? I don't know anything. Tell me where he is. You go to hell. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, for Christ's sake. They took him to a cabin. Over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. Let me see you again, you hear me? You got lucky there, my friend. Come on, let's go. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, man. Well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent, keeping fish on the line.
That must be it. Hold. Let's get you out of here. Come on, boy. The thing is, after that oh. shack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Uh. 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 Is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, oh, you're uh, alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Okay, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Go deal with them, my brother! Who knows what he told them? Let's get after those sons of bitches. Quick, find them! They're trying to hide in the fields! Look at the birds! Go that way! They're gonna get away! Let's find them! Come on, you cowards! You're mine now! I'm telling you now! You boys ain't leaving here! You're making a big mistake! Stop hiding! We got one more, Charles! Dumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. Keep searching. He's around. Take him. Let me get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. Come on. You should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Oh, shit. Thank you. For Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery feller. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. <laughs> Guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Ah, uh, I hope you're right.
Mr. Trelawney, where are you? Would you please slow it down? <laughs> you okay? Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunters. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What'd you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon, looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep hearing. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. There always seems to be more. More and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West, or what's left of it, but well, even that ain't the way I remember it. Hey there, partner. Sir, good morning. I've been dreaming of iron like this since I was a boy. Damn fine piece right there. I've been practicing. <laughs> Told you I was good. Ha! Oh, oh, I'm sure. good, I guess. Look, eyes closed. Ha! Sure, that's the trick. <laughs> Gotta be confident. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, that's too much now. Oh, oh, help, help me. Get man walking. Howdy. What you been up to all covered in blood like that? Ain't nothing to worry about.
Welcome, welcome. Hey, mister. You look like a damn idiot. Aha. Come in. Thanks. You learn some manners, I hope. What can I do for you, huh? Let me see what's available. If you're serious about your shooting, you'll want to add sights to your gun. I can rifle the barrel for you if you'd like. That could really shine with some carbon in it. You're gonna buy something, right? Listen, you won't take all day, will you? You're gonna buy something, right? Listen, you won't take all day, will you?
You're gonna buy something, right? Listen, you won't take all day, will you? Oh my God. Make sure you got enough rounds for it. You're gonna buy something, right? Oh, I'm real excited to try this. Step up. Don't be shy, pal. Got anything good for me by any chance? As long as you have the items I need. Really? You won't regret it. I trust nobody's missing this. All right, what do you have for me? Not bad, this. Sure, I'll take it. Real good doing business with you. Not a word to anyone, all right? Come on now, boy. Hey, mister, can you help me? Please help me. My damn horse died on me and my legs are hurting and I need to get home. You're happy to. Get on. Oh, you kind, mister. If he uh, be so kind to take me to Legras, that's where I'm from. That's where my people is from. Sure, that's fine. Don't normally trust no outside man. No offense, mister. Just don't trust them much. Quite all right, ma'am. I don't trust him much either. 
You seem like a horse rider? Yeah, your whole life, I bet. Horse don't help much in Lagrano. Need a horse can swim fine as a duck be much more used to us. Last horse we bugged, got his foot stuck in the mud, gator came and ripped his leg off. The horse just wobbling in the water, another gator came and took the other leg. Then the horse fell and died for a part time, could come by with a rifle on him. Honest, no word of lie. Jeez, you sure it's the horse that's the problem? Maybe you should be worrying about the gators. Where was it? Lagra? Well, that's not like this. Hmm. Bet you travel a lot. You a fool. Can't find yourself no home to live and grow and die in if you always moving. Can't build no roots down. Can't grow nothing up. Always moving is no good. Maybe I don't want roots. How about that? I'm not looking to settle. You think when was the last time you spent the week in the same bed? How long ago was that? I asked you that it was a long time. No offense, but I bet it's been a long time for you. Weren't no need. I never leave my home. You won't call it humble, and it is. And I ain't no more proud than I need to be. But it feels good having something your own. Ain't no boy, ain't no boss man, ain't no train gonna take that from me. We getting close, don't die or not. Please let me give you this on account of you being so kind. Hope I'd never have to be on that horse again, dang animals. By order of Judge Meredith Holden in the courts of the state of Lemoyne, we do hereby grant repossession of this property and all items herein to the Bank of Roads. M. Holden, Judge Holden, Henrietta Blackley Clerk, November 18th, 1895. Hedger, watch, pistol.
Thanks indeed for your talk to our Sunday school class. <laughs> Thought you might like this drawing young Josh did of you. He wants to grow up to be just like you. Sam. June 7th, 1855. Dear Sir, please accept this likeness of your family as a small token of appreciation for your assistance in the recovery of my property. Like your old pa, you're a cunning old dog and a credit to this community. <laughs> Yours, Colonel Joshua Nixon. April 2nd, 1870. Dear Mr. Thompson, I'm afraid there's no more work for you down here at the plantation. I'm grateful for the help you've given us and the help your pappy and your pappy's pappy gave us before you. These are trying times for all of us. You are in our thoughts and prayers. Yours truly, Colonel J. Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. That's the old watch, now the ledger and the pistol. Dear Jeremiah, there ain't nothing here any value. I wouldn't give you a nickel for it. Come by for a sup of whiskey anytime. Bill. Yes. I was sorry to hear of Betsy's passing. Things is easier up there for sure. Okay, where is all this old crap? Paw, God damn it. Told you to stay away from the boy. He don't want this. Heck, none of us want nothing to do with you. Rance. Ah, uh, trap door, huh? <laughs> huh? What you doing here? We found this place first. Yeah, easy. I'm just looking around for some things. Hmm. That old revolver yours? <laughs> Finders keepers. Ah! Son of a bitch! Oh, God damn it! Damn it. Come on, man! Where are you going? Come on! God damn you! Bye. 
Pistol? Uh, just the ledger now. This your ledger? A list of slaves? Uh... Rewards. January 15th, Betsy, $17. January 18th, Louise, $12. May 18th, Wilfred, $18. May 24th, Minnie and Child, $20. that. I was somewhere near Rhodes when they caught me. Till the day I die, I ain't gonna forget the sound of that dog barking in my heels. But I don't suppose that day gonna be far off yet. It was 50 lashings yesterday and 50 more to come. I don't think I can take any more. Man said he was doing his job. Funny kind of employment if you ask me, but I suppose you ain't. Lights fading, so that's it for now. I do hope I live to see the end of this war and justice win out. Ugh. June 64. God. They threw us away like, like shit on their boot. I'm, times wasn't perfect. I ain't saying that. It's just... Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> you sh show some respect. I was respected once. I had a profession. You asked me to get you something. There's no bringing back what I want. I want my job, my pride, the respect accorded to a gentleman. What about this old crap? Huh? My things. Don't you understand? 
Those bastards, they changed everything. I was a good worker. I took pride in my work. They, they, they took it away. Pissed on my legacy. Old man, some jobs ain't for saving. And some legacies? Oh, they are for dude, pissing What off. are you doing? That's, that's my history. Damn you! Damn you! I still exist! Cargo you bring it through here. Easy there. I'm trying to get these supplies to the federal building. It's on the knee. Federal ain't got boy. no authority here. We just looking for cargo here. We'll be taking them goods for the Jesus Christ. Glad I weren't the target. Thank you for your help. Real shame what they're doing, folk. I'm sick of this shit. Easy, easy. We got 
I'd show you. I better get moving. Looks a way off. Must be close. Let's go, boy. Lenny. Hi, Arthur. You know, you know, my mama was born in a field. Literally, in a field. Her mama was picking cotton. Didn't even know she was pregnant. Actually, Came I'll come back to you later. Okay. She gave birth right in the field. In the goddamn overseer. He took my mom away and made my grandmama get up and finish picking. Overseer was sweet on her and used to rape her.
Just in time, Mr. Morgan. This all I got for you. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. This camp could do with a few improvements. Why don't you take a look at my ideas? I reckon I need to get my hands on some materials first. Charles.